Hello everybody, good morning. I am Sylvia Hartman and I've just uh, heard that today is Dragon Rising Publishing's 25th anniversary. Quarter of a century. I am ha, just going on a trip through mem memory lane here with that. I started Dragon Rising Publishing in 1996 as a direct result of the established publishers really not being into the sort of thing I was doing. And our first book was, ta-da, Project Sanctuary. And yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just uh, thrilled about it. The th we sold our first e-books of Project Sanctuary as a dot doc attached to an email in 1996 and I think that's uh, that's quite something you know I always got on about boomers not being technologically up with it but yeah <laughs> so huh. yes and so where does that all come from where does it all start it starts with a star dream and this is a particular kind of star experience that didn't happen in the heart or in physical reality and in my case it was a dream and it was a dream a lucid dream that was just wow it was I was standing in a landscape that was cold and dark and black and completely frozen and there was this huge frozen lake there in front of me and so as I'm stepping up and looking at this and feeling really sorrowful about the the state of that of that world there was this trembling in the ground and this enormous golden dragon just broke out through the ice and sent it flying and there were these walls that tumbled down and the sun started to rise it's the most extraordinary thing most extraordinary thing i've ever Oh, seen in a dream, if you will, or experienced in a dream. And there was such joy associated with it. I mean, words just found me. Words found me. Such joy. Such, oh my God, life is finally beginning. And so my aspect had to do a painting of this. And she did. And this is probably the first ever conscious sort of modern energy art painting. This is the original beaten up Dragon Rising. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much exactly what I sort of saw and it's got that energy in it. It's got that energy in it. It's really beaten up because see, it's made of, uh, it's painted on an old piece of card and it actually had like a frame stuck onto it with glue that's come off over the years. But it's here. And it's, yeah, and the idea was to represent the most important things in the, in the star dream. The golden dragon, obviously, really smooth, not one of those spiky things that we always see when people talk of dragons. My dragons in Sanctuary are super smooth, like liquid glass. I mean, just super smooth. And we've got the ice shards breaking away here down the bottom as it sort of roars up and out and the falling walls and the sunrise in the back. So yeah, Dragon Rising, 1996, 25 years old this painting today. I'm gonna to try and put it so that it doesn't deteriorate any further because it's got like bits missing from being kicked around for 25 years and the holes in the top. Still beautiful image. Yeah, so when it came to starting a publishing company, no, you know, yeah, this is, what I try to do in my work, always try to do, is break through those barriers, those cages of entrainment that hold us down, those glass ceilings, that ice lake that keeps us frozen inside and disempowered and basically asleep as the term may go. And this idea of, you know, waking up, empowerment, sunrise, life can finally begin that is so powerful from that sension. Yeah, that was, uh, so it became the Dragon Rising logo. And once again, this is the only surviving of these, 
these uh, holographic t-shirts i love it <laughs> oh and and it's been the logo for the publishing company ever since and it does keep coming back and back and back and back and this one here i just found on the shelf here the dragon lords do you recognize something in that from the colors and the shape and of course dear dragon rising logo every dragon rising book you own will have the little dragon light rising logo on the back there it's an amazing thing really and so for 25 years we've been publishing books that challenge the narrative that challenge the established ways of doing things that really challenge even the presuppositions on which things are being built and what we've been taught and i am really proud and happy that in spite of everything 25 years we've been doing this we've been trying to make a contribution to you know the lives of people and i do believe in many ways we have we've reached lots of people and it's going to be my intention now that next 25 years we're going to reach very many more because if anything is my heart's desire is this this arising this empowerment and the fact that we stop being frozen in that victim status that we are stopped being frozen in the old trauma labyrinth and that we just break free from that and start to live life with joy and with these powerful sunrises and being just glad that we are actually here so thank you so much for listening that was uh, a very brief overview over the uh, story of dragon rising and dragon rising publishing and to this day this gives me tremendous joy and it really does and and i i understand what that means not consciously but in every way possible and i think if you're listening to this and if you've been following me you know exactly what i mean by that sometimes a picture says more than a thousand words all right guys thank you for listening oh remember you can uh, if you've ever bought an ebook or an audio product from dragon rising you can always log back in and you know review revisit things and i promise you that as a sort of more experienced aspect if you have another look at some of these things you will find whole new lots of interesting things built in and, and something that will inspire you or answer a question or start you thinking in a new and different way because that's at the end of the day what dragon rising the star dream the painting the experience the idea the concept of dragon rising has always been about lots of love to you and uh, hi well see you in 25 years for the next one of these bye for now